What's up everyone? It's Naturally Nate here and today we're gonna to be playing some Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Um, I really like this game. Uh, I've played it ever since it kind of came out and it's always been resur resurfacing so I was kind of like why not? Let's play it. Um, it always makes me quite angry. So let's go ahead and play it. Um, I haven't beat it yet on this one. I'm playing it on the Switch. The game that came out for the Switch. Um, so let's do it. See I have no characters unlocked so far. <laughs> Um, so it's kind of a brand new game that we're starting. Um, I got pretty far in the original one, and I haven't played a lot of the the new stuff. But I played a decent amount. Um, but I haven't gotten too far uh, because this game's really freaking hard, and it always makes me upset. But that's okay. So let's try and see how far we can get in this. Man, this game, it's so good. It's so good. Although I don't know why they changed the art style. I really do enjoy the pixel art, but at the same time, I really did enjoy the original. I don't know if it has to do something with like the graphical power, if it's like now they can put more things in it and stuff like that. But I, oh, dang it. I enjoyed, um, ah, frick. Um, I enjoyed like the original art, I feel like, a lot more. Um, I just feel like it looked better. It just it just seemed kind of more like a downgrade. If it was like originally, how did I hit that fly and not get hurt? Um, oh my god! Uh, um, I just feel like ooh, <laughs> the fly killed itself. Um, I just feel like it was kind of a downgrade from going from like more streamlined, kind of like almost a new groundsy kind of feel to um, to pixel art was kind of weird um it was like if you played shovel knight like shovel knight is made to be pixel art and i really like that like shovel knight's a fantastic game um if you want me to play shovel knight put a like in that comment not wow a like in the comment section du, du, du. um hit the like button or comment in the comment section um so yeah yeah okay so let's see I don't think I've gotten to mom in this game yet. I don't know. So we will. A lucky rock has appeared. Okay. Oh shoot. All right. Let's we'll get rid of these guys. All right. So while I'm fighting this room, I have a story to tell. Um. About my great grandmother again. I know I just told a story. Uh, depending on when this video goes up, you may have already heard a story about her. Um, so I guess we had a bunch of uh, paramedics and a policeman. Like six, six men came to the house uh, the other day or yesterday. And I had no idea. I was in, in my room. Didn't hear a thing. I might have been napping or something. Um... Mm, I'll try it. Okay. Nope. Bad idea. I'm gonna get these fire though. Um, so yeah, I was in my basement had no idea uh, I was napping and at the same time. I guess my great grandmother decided to nap as well And while she napped she has a little thing Like the classic button that you'd press like help I fallen and I can't get up she has one of those doodads and um so when she decided to take a nap, she was like, oh, I don't want to roll over in my sleep and then accidentally hit it while I sleep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in my shoe because that's a great place to put it because who else puts things in their shoes? And that's, of course, that's where she's going to remember it. Um, oh my God, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm going to play one more, one more. Um... So of course, of course she, th when she, she doesn't just like place it in her shoe. She like, I just hit the mic. Sorry. She like drops it in her shoe, like actually just drops it in her shoe. And of course by dropping it, what does this finger do? Oh my God. It's so creepy. By dropping it, she sets it off. It actually goes off. And so now it's like going on a thing that's like. Gigi, what's the her name's not actually Gigi. Um, but I don't know if she actually wants a real name. 
I'm gonna, they're like, what's the, what's the word? What's, what's the password? Are you okay? What's wrong? Where are you? What's the word? What's like, what, what's going on? Are you okay? Blah, blah, blah. And of course she doesn't hear it. Um, because it's in her shoe. And then secondly, she doesn't have her hearing aids in. So when they try to call the house, she doesn't hear it. She doesn't hear the phone at all. So, oh crap. Um, so, the phone's ringing, the phone's going off, and of course, she doesn't hear any of it because she's sleeping. She's napping, and the world is just silenced. It's just, it's not there while she's sleeping. So, I guess eventually she wakes up, and she has no idea where her thing is at. And she's she's up and she's making a sandwich. She's making lunch, but yet at the same time, she is um. The door is unlocked because we have people coming like in our house right now building a wall. So our door is unlocked and in walk like four paramedics and two police officers, looking for my great grandmother because they think she's dead because she's like on the floor dying. So that's fantastic, and all while this is happening, they called my actual grandmother, and they're like, oh yes, we just got a call from your, uh, we had, like, your mom hit the button, we're not getting a response, we don't know what's going on, so we're, we're gonna be right there. And she's at work, of course, and she's like, oh geez, um, I'm gonna have to go, like, I have to leave work, and granted, she's a CEO of a company, or of a foundation, and she has to leave work because she thinks her mom is dead at home. And of course she's trying to call, she's trying to call and she gets nothing. And eventually she gets an answer of the phone that's from my great grandmother. It's like, I can't talk right now. I'm making lunch and I'm surrounded by six men. Are you kidding me? My, she told my grandmother, her daughter, that she can't talk because she's surrounded by six men because they thought that she was dead and my grandmother also thought that she was dead so my grandmother is like rolling on the floor practically like you can't do that you can't just doubt me I thought you were dead oh my god how like I can't believe this and she's like oh my gosh calm down it's just I was sleeping oh my gosh and so the point comes to where she is She's now, oh my god, blow up, blow up! Um, so she's, things are fine. They're like, okay, well, I'm glad everything's okay. Uh, so I'm, I'm sleeping during all this. I have no idea. I'm downstairs. I have no idea. No, no one's called me, even though I've been home all day. No one's called me. They don't think I'm going to pick up. So, I mean, I mean, whatever. Um, but, oh, shoot. Um, which I'm surprised no one has called me because usually they'd just be like, go upstairs and check on your grandmother. And then, oh my god. Um, I would have just checked on her. Um, cool. Dang it. What's this? Is this a little down again? No, I don't want that. Um, oh my freaking god! Sorry. Um,. No! No! God, this game gets me so angry. I hate it. Um. So, okay. Sorry, I'm off topic. So, she is... She's with all these men, and then, of course, they have to now find this thing because she doesn't have it on her. So, she doesn't have her little pager thing that calls the emergency people. And she's like, they're like, oh, okay, so where is it? And she's like, I don't know. They're like, oh, okay. So, again, she has it in her shoe. She dropped it in her shoe because she thought she would remember it being in her shoe. Well, she doesn't. She has no idea where it's at. And now these people are looking and searching and are trying to figure out where it's at. Um, because, again, she thinks it's in her... She, she, just, she has no idea. She has no idea. She is an 85-year-old woman who just eats and sleeps f for a job um and so now these six men are now wasting their time when they could be helping people um 
trying to find this little thing for probably a, a solid 30 minutes they're inside our house trying to find this little pager thing and then they um they eventually find it in her freaking shoe and then they're gone and my grandmother of course is just she's just so upset she's like I can't believe you you are this is so embarrassing and my great-grandmother is just like oh this is so exciting all these men in the house wow I can't remember the last time we've had all these boys in the house and I was like what the frick like shut up like oh that's so annoying that's so embarrassing so yeah we had all these paramedics in the house for no reason at all but because my grandmother dropped her freaking pager in, in her shoe. Yep, that's what it's like. Living in my house with all these freaking people. But I guess the good news is is that it's always um it's always an adventure. There's never a dull moment in this house. Um but you always have to scream that's the only bad problem is that you always have to scream because they, they can't hear and that always sucks oh my god just got hit again okay cool we're good so i'm doing all right this time doing all right this this round which is okay oh gosh i forgot what these people do okay and then they turn into these guys cool Oh, I hate these guys. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead this turn. Okay. Yep. Well, thanks for watching. That's episode one of uh, by, by, uh, Binding of Isaac. Um, hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed my little rant about my great grandmother. Um, I'll I'll see you next time. If you liked this video, subscribe. Hit the like button if you want to see more of this. I'm sure I'll do more of this since they're they're nice little. I really enjoy playing this game. That's just frustrating. Um, so yeah. I'll see you next time. Bye!